Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome to Tag Tuesday. This week's tag is the Reread Tag. This tag was created by the wonderful Roz over at Scally Gandling About the Books and her son Alfred appeared in the video and they talked about their rereading habits. I think this was inspired in part by the DNF tag uh, because there is kind of a, I think, a correlation uh, there. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, I thought I'd do the tag today. Uh, Roz was nice enough to tag me, so I wanted to do the tag. So here we go. Question number one is where do you fall on the rereading scale? Over the core, you know, uh, are you a constant, a frequent rereader? Do you reread all the time? Do you never reread? Do you occasionally reread? At this point, I would call myself an occasional rereader. Uh, that's kind of where I am. I don't constantly reread. I don't really look to reread all that often, but I do it occasionally, which then late blends into question two. Has this thing about rereading uh, changed over the course of your life? And I would say yes, dramatically. When I was in junior high school and high school, I read the same books over and over again, one after the other, and they were all fantasy books, and they were all my favorite fantasy series. Those would be uh, the... the uh, uh, Chronicles of Thomas Covenant by Stephen R. Donaldson, which I have to be honest with you, are pretty stinky. Uh, the Belgariad by, ooh, what was that author's name? Well, now I can't remember his name and I can't see his books. Uh, those books I read a lot. Uh, the Terry Brooks, uh, Brooks uh, book, uh, the sort of uh, Shannara or Shannara, I read that several times. And then I just read The Lord of the Rings over and over again. And there were occasions in which I just would finish with The Return of the King and pick up The Fellowship of the Ring again. So I used to be a real rereader. And then, you know, when I started reading other books uh, late in my high school life and in college, where I really think I became a more focused and constant reader, I almost never reread. And that carried over really until I started my booktube channel. And here on booktube, you know, that's kind of led me uh, into rereading. Question three is when do you reread? Uh, maybe immediately after finishing a book, not till years later, or when the mood strikes. I would say that I, I don't reread read until years later, and usually it's because of a comment or some kind of a project I'm involved here on BookTube that makes me uh, reread. Question four is why do you reread books? Um, well, the primary reason I started rereading books is uh, because of things here on BookTube that came up, and uh, in part it's because I, I consider myself to be a somewhat recovering dude bro. Uh, in terms of my reader, I know, reading, I know a lot of, not a lot of people like that classification, but it's one I've used here before, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And so my primary reason for rereading is to see that if my assessment of my favorite authors from the past, if my assessment of their books still hold up. Uh, and so, you know, that's, <clears throat> that's kind of why I, I do uh, a lot of my uh, rereading. And then sometimes, again, if it's a part of a pro project, Question five is how do you reread? Do you read faster, uh, slower? Uh, do you just read the good bits? I would say I reread faster. I'm a slow reader, but I reread faster, significantly faster than I read a book uh, the first time, but I read the whole complete book. I don't just usually dip in and out unless I'm looking for a specific answer or a quote or something like that. Uh, question number six is more specific. more specifically, who do you reread? Re you know, what authors do you reread? Well, again, this would go back to that kind of uh, dude bro answer. So I reread, have read, read quite a bit of Hemingway. Uh, this is Faulkner in August. And so I've reread uh, quite a bit of Faulkner. I think uh, Cormac McCarthy is an author who I've reread a lot. But also come Victober, I plan on rereading some classics that, or I try to reread at least one classic that I maybe had a negative opinion of the uh, this last year it was Wuthering Heights. My opinion didn't change. Uh, this year I'm going to reread uh, Jane Eyre and see if my opinion uh, changes there. But usually it, it's pretty dude bro -y type authors. And again, uh, my goal is to figure out, you know, was I right? Were these books as good as I thought? Uh, were these authors as admirable as I thought in terms of their writing, not as people? Um, and so that's kind of been one of those things I've been doing, one of those things I've been kind of focusing on, at the same time as trying to read much more diversely now than I did in the past. Uh, question number seven, uh, a book you reread that was better after you reread, and I would say, uh, sticking with the theme, I thought Cormac McCarthy's Blood Meridian was actually better the second time I read it than the first time I read it. Uh, in part, this is because of Amy from Amy Gets Lit's excellent uh, what the F Did I Read uh, series in which she broke down uh, 
uh, Blood Meridian in a series of awesome videos. That helped me. And then just rereading it, I thought the book was actually better. Uh, question number eight, a book you thought was worse after rereading? Same author, uh, The Crossing by Cormac McCarthy, which is book two in his Border Trilogy series. And I'd started a project to reread the Border Trilogy and to see how I felt about them and to have reviews. I still haven't gotten to Cities of the Plain, but I did reread The Crossing. And while the first part of The Crossing is still, uh, I really liked, most of the book I didn't. Uh, and I, I, this book actually went down in my estimation as a result of the reread. And then Prop 9, which book have you reread the most? And coming full circle almost in terms of uh, this prompt, the book I've reread the most, and you can probably tell from the wear and tear on my old paperback from 1978, is The Fellowship of the Ring by Tolkien. Like I said, I used to read these books just over and over again. Uh, I probably read through them nine or ten times uh, in junior high. Uh, in high school, and sometimes I just started over again. So I could have, I guess, picked any of them, but I have a feeling Fellowship of the Ring is the one I read the most because it's the first. And, you know, whenever that last time came that I reread the books, maybe I didn't get all the way through all the books, but I probably at least started or got through uh, the Fellowship of the Ring. Anyway, there you go. Uh, there's the reread tag. Uh, thanks again to Roz for tagging me. I'll leave a link to her. Uh, versions video or her uh, original video down below. I'm not going to tag anybody because I, I think I've seen almost everybody I would tag do this, but if you want to do the tag, it's a good tag and the questions are interesting and I think they make you think about your reading uh, in kind of a different way. So please do the tag if you'd like to. Uh, I will leave the questions uh, down below so you can see them. Anyway, uh, as always, I look forward to your comments in the comments section below and thank you for watching.